the 1965 Mustang Fastback. Uh, I have one in the building today, and of course, 65 is the very first year for a Fastback, and now at over 50 years old, any Fastback, 1965 Fastback, is considered a collector car. And I think that's especially true of the restored Fastbacks. Now, the restoration on this Fastback is different than most of the Fastbacks you would see out there. It was restored with a goal of being a show quality presentation uh, of a very original car or how it would have come when it was original. So that's different from most cars and a lot of people call that the Concours restoration. Now, does Concours mean perfect? Uh, not at all, not to me, Concours does not mean perfect. Again, it just means that it's a show quality presentation of a car as what it would have liked, looked like when it was original. And in most cases, they're nicer than what they would have been when they were original. Now, another very cool thing about this particular Fastback is it's loaded with options, and options have a huge positive impact on value. This thing has comfort options, and it's got uh, luxury options. But in addition, in addition to comfort and luxury options, it's got some cool, unique options you don't see very often. And uh, I like the pods on the steering column called the Rally Pack, the tack on one side and the clock on the other. I think that's super cool. It's got the console down the middle. Uh, that's super cool. And added to the car are some of the GT accents, which are my favorite design elements for any vintage Mustang. You've got the exhaust treatment in the rear, the beautiful trumpet tips coming out the rear panel. That is a great look. And then in the front of the car, you've got the fog light assemblies. I love that too. The GT accents add to any car. Super cool. Now, in a minute, we're going to look under the hood and look at some of those details so you can see what I was talking about. And then after that, we'll go on a test drive. Okay, so now we're looking under the hood at all the details. And you can see the uh, colors on the major components, of course, are all correct. You can see that it, the bolts are anodized where appropriate. You can see that the AC compressor is correct and the tag on the compressor is correct. And of course, the fittings on the compressor are correct. You can see the tag on the intake manifold and the tag on the carburetor. Carburetor is correct with the correct linkage, correct heat shield, and so on. Uh, you can see the original uh, tower type hose clamps. Uh, you can see the hoses have the correct markings on them and even the spark plugs have the correct markings on them. And of course, all the decals are all in the proper places. So this is what a Concours restoration would look like. It's not uh, that it's any better than someone else's approach or what someone else may prefer. It just happens to be one type of restoration. And I think it's pretty impressive. Okay, so let's start this car up and let's go for a test drive. Okay, come around back and listen to the exhaust. I love these trumpet exhaust tips. I, I, I think it's one of the coolest things any car came out with, and it's a, just a signature Hall of Fame look of a vintage Mustang. Let's go on that test drive. Well, we're almost to the interstate, and uh, let's talk about the options this car has. It's just loaded with options. The comfort options, I would call power steering and the power brakes, and of course the air conditioning, which is mission critical in Texas and probably a lot of other places, but certainly here in Texas. Uh, the unit blows very strong, very cold, so air conditioning is wonderful in this 65 Mustang. Now the luxury options, the options are just there for the luxury, the visual stimulation uh, and just the upgrade benefit. It's the deluxe pony interior. And what do you get with the pony interior? Well, you get a lot. Uh, starting with a super cool, what I would call kind of a tuck and roll or pleated type interior. Uh, love that look. And of course you get the ponies, the embossed ponies. Um, hence Pony Interior, the name Pony Interior. And uh, you also get, of course, the deluxe molded door panels. And the deluxe molded door panels 
continue to carry on that theme of that pleated look. And they also have really cool stylistic door handles. I love that part. And of course the courtesy lights, safety lights built into the doors. You don't get that on the standard doors. So the doors alone are just a significant upgrade and they have some molding on them that the standard doors don't have. Then you also get with Pony Interior this simulated wood grain steering wheel and the simulated wood grain dash accents, which I also like quite a bit. We're coming up on a uh, railroad crossing at 65 miles per hour, hands off. Goes over that beautifully. It's a very stable car. And now this little car has the C Code 289 or it came from the factory of the Seco 289 and that's what it is uh, but it's been upgraded it no longer has the two barrel two barrel intake with a two barrel carburetor it has the four barrel carburetor on the four barrel intake and they're correct components check out the pictures I mean it's concourse correct and uh, it allows you to quickly get up to speed we're 60 miles per hour right now with little to no effort and the beauty of this car, it's got the C4 automatic. The beauty is it has the 2.80 highway gear. So you can run down the interstate at 70. In fact, let me take it up to 70. Okay, we're at 70 now. And uh, the car is not over revving. It's about, looks like 29, 2800 RPM, which is quite good. It would typically be at about 3500 RPM with uh, one of the normal gears. So the highway gear, definitely something to be said for that. Most of my driving is highway. She will definitely run. That's fun. Wow. Love a 289. Okay, so we're coming up on that turn and I'll show you how nice and sweet it is to turn this car with the power steering. Hey, a vintage Mustang, how cool is that? 65 GT. People love these cars, they're just legendary and you know, 50 years after they built them, people still want them. Okay, turning with one hand, palm of one hand. Very easy, very driver friendly little car, without a doubt. More railroad tracks. No problem. These are great drivers. If you've never driven a quality 289 first gen Mustang, uh, you'll be pleasantly surprised. You know, they're not a modern experience and you wouldn't expect them to be, but they're a quite acceptable vintage experience. You know, almost anybody can get behind the wheel and very quickly find themselves very adapted to this little car. It gives you a real personal, personally satisfying experience. Well, I hope you enjoyed the test drive. Come back. We do a lot of test drives of some very cool cars. If you enjoyed the video, please click like and please subscribe. And remember to check out our website, myrod.com. I think you'll like what you see. My son and I come across some real treasures and we don't, uh, we don't buy them if we don't love them.